Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a weekly planner printable using Canva. So you've probably heard of Canva before. It's mainly for like social media images. They don't really have any pre-made templates for making a weekly planner. So we're going to make our own. So go to custom dimensions and then enter in whatever dimensions you want to use. I personally prefer to use eight and a half by 11 inches for the reason that I can resize it later in my print menu. So if I go at eight and a half by 11 inch and resize down, I'm not going to lose any, any image quality. I can resize down to happy planner size, A5, half US letter, etc. So it just gives you much more options than if you start small, because if you try and increase it up, it's going to be blurry. Anywho, long story short, I recommend you use letter size and then hit create new design. So Canva has a bunch of elements you can incorporate into your printables including different backgrounds, like some patterns, even some images, if you want to do something a bit different, even some photos. You can also upload your own. So if you've purchased a digital paper from my Etsy shop, Paper Cravings, or from anywhere else, or you've downloaded one for free, etc., you can upload it and use that as your background. Or you could decide no pattern background. Let's just add some simple rectangle boxes for each day of the week using the elements tool. Totally up to you. I like to have a little bit of color and um like pattern on mine. So I'm going to go with this one here, which is this nice stripe um, pattern. You can change the color as well, but I quite like this color. So I'm going to stick with that. So let's go to elements. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can add to your design, but for printables, shapes is really what I recommend you use. You can use some basic squares. You might do circles for days of the week. You might have like your top priorities in a circle. It's like your feature element on your page. Lots of different options. Most of these are free, which is good. There are some that you might find that are paid, usually like a dollar or so. I don't really recommend paying for it because as you can see, there's lots of free options. So you can usually find what you want for free on here anyway. And if you purchase the pro version, you have to pay for that. So I kind of don't really believe in paying for it for like an online tool because it's not really like proper graphic design software. Anywho, I'm going to go with something a bit different than just a um, normal rectangle. And I'm going to go with this shape here, kind of like a label template. And I'm going to change that color to white because I think white will look good with this um, color. And I also like to write on white only. I don't know, I just prefer it. So resize it to whatever you want. I'm just guessing here and I can just resize it again later if I'm not sure anyway. So we've got one label created. This is going to be for each day of the week. So press control C and then control V and make a copy. One of the good things I like about Canva is these purple lines that appear. So like horizontally there, it's telling you where it's in line with the other things. So it makes it a lot easier to um, keep everything the same size and evenly spaced. Now, as you can see, I've got a problem. These are slightly too big. So I'm going to group them together. So click on one, press control, I'm sorry, press shift and click on the others and then right click and group. And now you can resize them all together and they'll stay the same size. So don't forget to leave a little bit of space on your left and your right for um, punching for your happy planner or three ring binder or if you go and get it coil bound, etc. And if you want to line it to the center, just left click and drag and you see that purple line and you'll feel it like snap to the middle. Okay, so I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and now I need to copy this. So control C and then control V. Now you've got a few options. I'm going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I'm going to have a little meal section, and then I'm going to make my weekends bigger. The reason for that is that I tend to do most of my to-dos on a weekend, and the weekdays is more like blog posts, so I don't need as much space to write, so I'm not going to make those sections as big. Now, this has gotten a bit awkward with this giant gap here, which is kind of a waste of space, so I'm actually going to switch, and I'm going to go with a um, square, which I will turn into a rectangle in a moment. So you could do the whole thing in rectangles rather than the fancy labels up to you. I do think that looks a bit nice. I've just not when it's going to waste a lot of space. So again, control C, control V. So I do need to make these just a smidge smaller. So we get that little gap in between 3.5 and then 3.5. Cool. So now I can add my days of the week. The other option that you could do is add your text to one of these and then group it together and then copy it across the six times up to you. Um, anyway, so in the text menu, Canva has these nice pre-done combinations of different fonts, which is quite nice because I've always found font pairing to be a bit difficult, so it kind of does it for you. And I think this would be really good for gift cards and for your like holiday cards. However, for making a printable, I'm just going to go with add a heading, keep it simple. Now, the font that I like to use for 
Um, printables is anything that's bold. That's why I quite like this one, Aileron Heavy. You can also make it bold in the font style, up to you. 42 is a bit big, so let's just resize that down a bit. Let's go 32, because we do still want some space to write on this. If you click in the little box, press Control A, it'll highlight all of that text, and then you can type whatever you want in there. So I'm just going to go with Monday. Now you'll notice that I haven't changed any um, colors of my font. I usually just create a printable in, tend to use like black and white, and then I'll come back and add some color. However, I already know that I want to use this teal, bluey, aqua, whatever you want to call it, color for the background. And I know that pink looks good with that, so I'm going to just use pink. And now click on your text, press Control C, and then Control V to make a copy, just like you did with your um, shapes here. And you'll also feel it snap to the middle and also in line whoops, with everything else. As you can see, if I zoom in a bit, just move that. And if you wanted to, you can group these three together. So hold one, press shift, right click and group, and then you can just copy those straight down. And I also need to do that for Saturday and Sunday. So let's ungroup, delete one that we don't need and move that to the middle. And then double left click and you can change your text to whatever you want. It's a bit big. Let's go 30. To make it all the same size, I'm just for the purpose of speeding up this video, I'm going to just resize it later on. I don't want this video to be too long. It's already at like five minutes probably. And like any meals, you could do um, cleaning, whatever else you want. The other thing that I've found, if you ungroup this, you can then expand that out and keep your font the same size up to you. Saturday and then, whoops, Sunday. Okay, so I've got my days of the week. Now, my top here is looking a little plain. You might like to have a nice big pattern header like this. I mean, I like patterns, but this is still kind of unused space. So you could add a rectangle up top here and have this as like your top priority of the week which is what I'm going to do because I feel like that would be a better use of the space. You could do a circle if you wanted to, but I think a rectangle would suit better. Now, I just went and created a new one, but if you're going to use a rectangle, you could also just control C, control V, especially if you've been changing the colors. Oops, and let's just move that up a little bit and then across. And I might just leave that blank and then I can change and decide what I want to use it for, whether like one week I'm going to use it for top priority, maybe one week will be like weekly event, etc. Now it's looking a bit plain and I haven't added any section to write what week it is, like week 52, all the dates, etc. So for that, I'm going to use a banner. So they have a couple of options in here. They've got this one with the rounded edge, one with the pointed, and there's also a double one like these. I'm just going to keep it simple and go with the, where's that downward pointing? It's that one. Oh, let's just go with that. And I'm going to make that the same pink as my text so that it coordinates and I'm just going to resize that down a bit and have it poking off the edge there and I'm going to add some just a single text box add some white text and just say like this week but you could also make it say like week of and then you can handwrite in the week whatever you want to do okay so let's go this week I'm just going to zoom in. One thing that's kind of annoying about Canva is I do find I need to zoom in a lot to get the detail. Now, if you don't like the line spacing, there's a giant gap between the words. So press Control A, go to spacing, and then let's just reduce that down a bit. Okay, that's better. Cool. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, if you wanted to, some other ways that you could customize it is to add a border around the shapes. Now, unlike in Photoshop, where you can just choose to add a stroke, which is like a border around the shapes, in Canva, I haven't really found an easy way to do that, so I tend to just make a copy, so Control-C, Control-V, and then have the background in the color and make that a smidge bigger, because I don't really want to increase the size of my white. I want to reduce that down a smidge, and then you can click uh, Position and choose Backward, and keep hitting Backward until it goes behind everything, and then you can resize your top rectangle which is like your writing space put that in the center you saw those lines appear it put it in the center for me and you could choose to add a border that way it does look pretty good actually i quite like that pink background 
You could um, change it up and have different shapes for each day of the week, like Monday could be a hexagon, Tuesday could be a rectangle, square, etc. And then don't forget you can upload images, you can also upload photos. They do have some other templates in here, but as you can see, they're not really for printables, they're just kind of a whole bunch of random things. You can maybe use one as your base template or for some inspiration if you wanted to, but I personally prefer to just go from scratch, add clip art and elements, etc. So that's how you do a simple weekly planner in Canva. Once you want to go to print it, you go to publish and then choose download and it will give you an option um, or you can like share it elsewhere. But if you click here, it'll give you an option for um, the type of file. I prefer to go with just PDF print and then download it and it should go to the downloads folder of your computer. If you're not sure where to find that, I'll include a link below. Um, if it doesn't automatically pop up, all files from the internet will save in there. So you can access it and then print it. I'll include a link below this video to a bunch of printing tutorials that I've done, including that one on resizing it if you're interested, etc. So I hope you found this um, video helpful. If you are interested in more tutorials for making printables, I've made them in Microsoft Word, in Excel, um, Google Sheets, Photoshop. So I'll have all those links to the tutorials below if you're interested in using a bit more sophisticated design software that has a lot more options than the few that Canva has.